Okay, yo guys, so welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, you've just got me, unfortunately. Well, not unfortunately, but Atto will be back. But yeah, it's just me today. So in this video, we're gonna discuss um, Workhorse and why the massive dip today, it went down by 11% today alone. Well, depending on what day you're watching this, but October the 13th, after going up to the 30s yesterday. So we're gonna discuss why this big decrease and what this means for Workhorse and also what's happening with the USPS deal. But yeah, before we get into the video, don't forget to hit the subscription button down below and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. But yeah, let's just get into the video. So Workhorse, <coughs> so I thought this is our sec no, our third video on Workhorse. But yeah, this is a very volatile stock at the moment with uh, everything happening, not even in the company, but more so um, outsourced. So other places talking about it like the price goes up down up down week by week but yeah let's just get into it so workhorse went up to the 30s yesterday after i think there was an article from Roth capital which upgraded workhorse's price prediction to 33 dollars so obviously that caused a lot of buy-ins and also they said that the deal um usps deal was expected to be announced on October the 13th which was today the day I'm filming this but that was not the case hence why there was such a big sell-off today and workhorse went down by 11% and the market closed at $23 so and also to add to that the same comp the same company um Roth Capital also decreased their price prediction for workhorse to $27 so that's a basically went from 33 to 27 so they upgraded it and now they downgraded it in just a few days like it, in a three day period so they just pushed it up pushed it back down caused people to buy in then caused a massive sell-off um their reason was due to the fact that the usps deal was not announced which doesn't make sense because no one knows if Workhorse gets the USPS deal until USPS announces it, which is expected by the end of the year. So there was no definite date. So the last date we thought was September the 30th, um, which was not the case. So now it's by the end of the year. So the massive sell-off, it doesn't make too much sense, but that just goes to show that it's not really anything to do with the company. It's more so um, sources from outside the company from everything else that's affecting the price when it goes up when it goes down because workhorse is doing well all all we hear is good news even the other day and um, workhorse was able to raise 200 million dollars um in order to hire 20 and uh, no 200 more um, employees or 200 more jobs to speed up production and expand their production which is only good news because a company getting bigger and producing more expanding production can only mean more money coming in and more orders for them to fill hence why they need more people and to add to that as well if you follow ARK Invest they've added more workhorse shares to their portfolios in the past couple of days few days so they added I think it was over 30,000 pound worth of of workhorse to their portfolio so if ARK Invest believes in workhorse and still buying more into workhorse then that's a pure indication that this is not the time to panic this is not the time to sell this is the time to hold even at your position so yeah so what am I planning to do so now I'm just kind of holding but if workhorse was to dip maybe below 22 I will definitely buy um more shares but i do understand why a lot of people are selling off because as investors we don't like uns uncertainty in the stock market and there's a lot of fear um, surrounding workhorse what well, hence why a lot of people are selling off and maybe taking profit but this is not the time to fear i still believe workhorse will get the usps deal if not a majority of the usps deal so this is just an opportunity this dip is opportunity to buy into workhorse if you're not invested already or just add to your shares and buy more shares of workhorse and just add to your portfolio um but yeah so this is just a quick video it shouldn't be too long but yeah we just want to get out there as quick as possible so it's not too detailed hopefully um but yeah because we know there's a lot of videos out 
on YouTube already. Like, I don't know how to do it so quick, especially the American YouTubers. Like, they're very, very quick. But obviously, being full time students and working full time, but we still manage to do this YouTube. But yeah, thank you guys for supporting us so far. And please give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscription button and just follow our journey in the stock market. And we hope to help you make your money work for you but yeah thank you for watching this video and we'll catch you in the next video